Let's talk about how to add calendar to MacBook desktop. And the easiest way how I think about it that it would be possible is to add it to the widget panel. And just like we have it on our iPhones, if you swipe all the way to the left on an iPhone, you have a widget panel there. You have something similar on the macOS as well. So if you click on the the date and the time in the upper right corner, the widget panel is going to slide from the right side of the screen. Also, in order to get there, you can use the slide gesture on the trackpad. So you use two fingers and you slide from the right side to the left and it just shows up as well. But anyways, the way it works is that you can actually scroll down all the way to the bottom and there you can add and edit widgets. And one of the available ones is the calendar widget. And this one has actually three sizes, so you can modify it and change however you want. So you have a month view, you have up next, and you have a list of all the upcoming events. And the simplest way, as I can see, is to add these to the widgets panel on the right side. And you can always just take a look at them while you're doing pretty much whatever you want. And not only on the desktop, on the home screen, but even if you are, for example, inside an app, you can still slide uh, the thing and it's going to appear on the top of it. So it is technically always uh, there. I would even argue that it's actually a little bit better than just having it on uh, the home screen. But uh, this is just one of the ways that I think about and one of the ways that I'm going to show you in uh, this video. But before we continue, I want to say that if you are new on uh, this channel, definitely consider subscribing because it uh, does help the channel, it makes you stay updated and we can grow as a community. Anyways, let's continue with the video and uh, the other method I kind of think about when you uh, actually want to get the calendar on uh, the desktop is by uh, making it auto launch every time you open up the MacBook. Like every time you start the device, the calendar app is going to run automatically as the first thing. And that's actually very easy to set up. So, and you can always just have it like a floating window there on the desktop and you can do whatever you want with it. But anyways, the way that you can set it up is of course in the system preferences, which is like the settings on a Mac and you just open it up and click on the section called users and groups. And there, there are also some login items. It's like the tab on the right. And at the bottom left corner of the window, you can click on uh, the lock icon if it's locked and then click on the plus. So once you click on a plus, you're gonna be greeted with some sort of finder window where you can add some files that should open up, some uh, folders or other things, including applications. So on the left side, click on applications and uh, naturally find the calendar. It doesn't have to be the stock one from Apple, but uh, it can be pretty much anything you want. So just add calendar and from now on, every time you open up and run uh, the Mac OS, you just start at the MacBook, then it's just always going to be there. So that's definitely nice and interesting. Perhaps even a quicker and easier method is to find the app that is in your dock on, on your MacBook and you just can right click on it and a couple of options will show up and one of the options is literally called options and if you click on that, uh, there is also the possibility to open it and log in. So this does the very same thing as we did in the system preferences, but you can access it a lot quicker. But in the system preferences or in the settings, we can say you have a list of all the things that start running when you start the MacBook. So that's, uh, of course, another way to keep track of that. So anyways, guys, I want to say that this would be pretty much at the end of the video. I do not think that there is anything else what I could say about it, like if there is other method that you have as your favorite just let me know down below in the comments i'm really interested to hear about it but of course if like there are plenty of third party apps that you can download and each of them has different functionalities and it's just impossible to cover every single third party one so i just went with the stock calendar app and like i said if there is anything interesting that you would like to share the comment section is the the way to do so you can also leave a thumbs up that would help me that would just make my day of course and subscribe so you don't miss future uploads have a great rest of the day and we can see each other in the future videos see you guys later